Well, big day for me today. It is quarter past six in the morning-ish. And I am now off to the riding school, West London uh, Motorcycle Training. Link below. Uh, to be uh, chaperoned to go and do my Mod 2 test. Um, of which I will pass or I will not, which is bloody obvious. Um, a bit windy today. <sighs> Anxious, a little bit. Although if I fail, like I did with the Mod 1, I'll just rebook and just redo it, you know, because I'll learn lessons. So today's, you know, about learning lessons and, you know, getting experience. Mirror cancel. Sorry about that, I'm just doing a few mantras in my head to make sure that I uh, now get up to speed. 40 miles an hour. Don't be a slouch, don't be a slow coach. There we go. 40 miles an hour given, 40 miles an hour taken. Ta -da. Middle of the lane, but it's not been raining, so there's less chance of oil. So. But very windy today, as you can probably hear. <laughs> um, so he's obviously going fast and fully. Got his brand new trans up. He's already done his test, so it's up to him. Okay, so slow down. Get straight ahead. Stick in the left. Well, my news. I was, I'm, I'm back at the test station because we got all the way back to the school, and I've left my papers at the test station. <laughs> my theory test, and so I've just left there. Literally, I've just just driven out of it. Uh, so I'm going to go out to the bike shop to talk about my options now because I failed. <coughs> stupid, stupid, idiot fucking mistake. It was like the biggest, oh shit, why did I do that? You know what I mean? The second I did it, I went on a pedestrian. I don't know, I've got, I'm going to go and speak to him. Yeah, um, and see if he'll hold it for me. Do you know what I mean? I've got to just got to say what my options are. Um, he might say, "We'll have your deposit back, and let's just wait till you get your license." You know I mean, so I don't, I don't know. So I just, I just thought, well, out of courtesy, I thought because I'm sort of in Archbridge, I'll just shoot out to Rysdip, um, get that done and out of the way, and then come home. But uh, yeah, the stupid mistake. I'm at a pedestrian crossing, and what did I do? Just finishing off their crossing, yeah. And that person's not passed his test either. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I know. And do you know? Do you know what the killer was? Right, the killer was, if I hadn't done that, I would have passed. He said, Dave, you're a good rider. I said, just, you just had a fucking brain fart. He was a really nice bloke, Andy. I just met him as well, because he had my papers. And he said, you had a brain fart. What was you doing? I went, I don't know. <laughs> I said, as soon as I did it, I said, I knew I'd done something wrong. He went, oh, well, not to worry. At least it's fixable. At least you know it's a serious fail. Of course it is, right? Um, but he said, look, no one got hurt. You know, you didn't pass this time, but now you're going to be, you know, only go on greens. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I went, yeah. He said, that's all right. He said, you'll, you'll pass next time. He said, the ride was great. He said, he said, it was an enjoyable ride. He said, you get up to speed properly, you know how to control the bike. You, you know what I mean? So he said, don't worry. He said, you know, it happens to everybody. Don't worry about it. So, except for people called Charlotte. I said, that was everybody except for people called Charlotte. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah, that, well, I've got that, and all I've got to. Uh, I 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. click, yeah. Yeah. I'm, this morning I even said to Adrian, who was the guy who took me, um, I said, the biggest thing at the moment, I said, unless you spot something, well, now, we did, we rode round for a good two or three hours round, round Uxbridge, you know. Hold on, just got to make sure these people aren't crossing. Are they? No. Um, it's a zebra crossing, they were walking up to it and they just looked like they were edging. Anywho, um, yeah, so uh, I said the biggest one I see at the moment on my ride into the station, into the school, was um, I get the fucking mirror signal arse about face, so I go signal mirror. <laughs> he said, just don't do it. <laughs> So we were practicing you know, mirror signal, and he was saying it in my ear or as we were driving around, he said mirror signal. Into new road, new road, mirror cancel. That's it. So I did all right. I, I did the actual test was all right, you know, and, and the positives are that I've done it now. Yeah, so that's it. The anxiety or whatever the that that sort of weird thing that's in your head or my head. I've done it now, so it's not as bad. The bloke's lovely, you know, like Andy is. Um, I can do everything, yeah, I can do it, it's just I've got to just stop at the fucking pedestrians and just let them go and just dawdle, <laughs> you know what I mean, so, as soon as I did it, I went, oh, you twit, never mind, never mind, and, he's, and even Andy said, he said, look, yeah, 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 but, um, yeah, that's true. Um, cause you're, yeah, yeah, because you're lounging around all day today. So, not all day now, for every day. Anyway, uh, what he did say was, he said, um, uh, what did he say? Oh, I've forgotten that. It was important as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, he just said it was a good ride. He said it's an enjoyable ride. You know, he got up to speed, he'd done everything. Um, just that, and it, as I did it as well, he said, Dave, where are you going? They haven't, they haven't stopped to look back, I went, oh no. <laughs> he went, oh God. Never mind. Don't matter. And it was an old couple as well, I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even when I looked back, I went, oh no. Do you know what I mean? But he said, oh yeah, that was it. He said, Dave, he said, the good thing is, he said, you uh, acknowledge it straight away. You know, you've come up to my bike. You, you know what the problem was, yeah? He said, I haven't got to explain it. And that's good because he said, some people go, what's the problem? Do you know what I mean? And now I've got an idiot on my inside. He doesn't know how to drive, just undertook me. Idiot. Sorry. Yeah, go on, go. Uh, right, so my 500F was going to be upgraded to a new one, but um, it doesn't work out accountancy-wise because I'm not limited. So uh, anyway, that's all about my head. So, anywho's, so I've added the effectively the comfort pack. So the Honda heated grips, Honda windscreen, because I'm going to need those anyway. And I've just looked and have been recommended uh, for the photography and everything, and it does look nice. A Kappa, is it Kappa? Um, top box. So, um, uh, that was recommended uh, for the size, and it's nice. Should be able to get a, my small um, tripod in it. 
which will save a lot of messing about. Uh, so that will save a lot of messing about. Um, but I do have my Low Pro 450AW2 bag, or whatever it is anyway, a mentor bag. So the gear will be safe in that while I put my crash helmet and other essentials in the top box for my trips, which will develop over time, I'm sure it is. I'll add this, take that away, move that around, fiddle with that and mess about with it until I'm ready for the larger road trips. But today has been a good practice. I've been in the saddle, basically, for time set off, six o'clock. It's now half two, so eight and a half hours less. So probably about seven hours in the saddle. So I can do it, and that's all in town traffic and a little bit of Fast day road, but nothing bad, which, which, which is exactly what my journeys are going to be. Because remember, I'm going to do them all on A roads and you know B roads, of course, but no motorways, uh, just to capture the beauty of our country uh, and objects that I see and interesting items that I see, not just landscapes, but anything really. Could be a cheeky looking cow in a farmer's field. Who knows? <laughs> so that's it. So not a good day, but you know, we're all upbeat. The 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 prob <laughs> the, 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 the mistake I made was just so stupid. So elementary, so why did you do that, you twat? Oh dear. But at least it was a major and I know what it was and I was a stupid idiot and now I've got that out of the way. I've made my major cock up. It's going to cost me another test and bike hire and chaperone. But um, it's my fault. But let's not dwell on that, eh? Let's move forward and the new year will bring a new license and um, a new bike fully kitted out guys at HGB Rice, Honda Ricep have been absolutely fantastic Kevin and all the troopers brilliant they've put up with me they've uh, helped me they've guided me and I'm really confident in what I'm buying the CB500F will, will give me my first big bike to learn my craft even more, own it even more, and then move up to the NT 1100 or its equivalent at the time when I do it in 26, is it? 26? 24, 25, yeah, 25, 26. Whenever the MOT is due, the first MOT is due on the CB. Or, or, I might like the CB so much, I might try Lisbon on it. You reckon? A bike's a bike, isn't it? But we'll see. We'll see how we get on with the, all the big uh, 500 mile days I'm building up to. And share on, a, on my channel. So, there you go. Not good news, but, you know, we can all move forward and we can all learn and we can all just crack on. So, for the final time of 2023, I wish you all well. I wish you safe journeys and a very, very happy Christmas and a prosperous new year to all of you, regardless. Thank you. <laughs>